hey guys and welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here my name is melissa zandax i'm a family food and lifestyle nigerian american vlogger living in the united states so guys today i'm in the car with emma emma say hi hello hello <laughs> yes guys so actually today is 10 days after i had the baby and this is the first time first time i'm getting back to driving and it is necessary because we need to go get some clothes for Emma. So, oh my God, I forgot the paper in the in the house. Oh, thank God we've not left. So, guys, tomorrow is Monday, and Monday, January, um, February third, right? And her school, they told them to put on old people's clothes, like they should dress as if they are hundred years old and come to school. And your sister does not have any hundred years old clothes. Like I've searched the closet, I couldn't find anything. So my husband said I should go to Ross and go look for something. Maybe some wig, scarf, big skirts, um, big gown, all those old mama clothes stuff. I'm not sure I'm going to find anything, but yeah, he said I should take Emma with me and I should go and find something. <laughs> so that's where we're going to now. My husband is upstairs with Zuri, Dior, and the new baby, and she's sleeping. And we decided to, like, yes, I came out, I didn't even pump or anything, but I came out without the baby because we decided to start doing formula and breast milk at the same time because breastfeeding is a whole lot of work. And coupled with, I started giving her formula at the hospital because... I wasn't producing breast milk at, at the time I was at the hospital. I was like, okay, why not? We might as well just continue. But we only give her formula at night and whenever I'm not around. Okay, so we have a bunch of formulas at home. And if she's hungry, my husband will give her food. But before I came out, miracle. Like I gave her the authentic Nigerian bath. So she's probably going to be sleeping a very long time. <laughs> so yes, guys, that's what's going to be happening today. We're going to Ross from Ross I'll be going to um um food school to go get some vegetables because this mama needs a snatched waist but that is not why I'm not breastfeeding exclusively okay but I need to start eating healthy eating vegetables brown rice and all that stuff yes I'll be cheating once in a while because I'm a breastfeeding mom but I need to start putting my diet into control yes so yes guys if it's your first time here do not forget to subscribe to our channel and be a part of our family and at the end of this video if you like it be sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me what you think in the comment section below so let's get started but before I go I'm going to go <laughs> back upstairs and go get the list because I need to to know exactly what i'm buying and coupled with this car will not start <laughs> the car does not agree does not want to start though oh my god i don't even know what to do Oh, Chimo, you always cook a starter. Let me call my husband and see what he has to say. Mel? Huh? Motor go away, cook a starter. Really? You're not going to pick the other one. Keep trying. I've been trying for a long time. It's not starting. It's going to start. It's just going to take time. Why? Oh, you're not. Oh, 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 you're not there. Why will it take time? I don't know. Put your, put your, put your leg on the, on the brake. On the brake? Right. Yeah, I've been doing like that for a long time now. Oh, oh, hey, fix it. And when they fix the whole thing. No. Also, I forgot the yellow paper on top of the um kitchen, this thing. Yeah. And see, it's only one key that is entry, no? Like only one of them will enter, but take the one uh and which you take a start. Yeah. <laughs> <Some damage. laughs> you have a rented car? Where is it? Is uh, it is I it this? Know. Is it this one? Uh, yeah. This one that is close to our car. I think so. Ah. So guys the other car refused to start with <laughs> so my husband came down and gave me this car. um this is a rental car. <laughs> so 
So this is the car that he rented this weekend. He used to travel all Chimo. And yeah, I guess we'll be using it to go to the place. So yes guys, let's get started. Like I said, we're going to Ross first. And I have Emma with me. My man decided me to go and bring Emma's car seat <laughs> to avoid problem. Okay guys. I just finished fixing her seat belt right now. So let's see how this baby drives. Oh Chimo. I see them guy here at the motel guy and fancy car. Let's see how this baby drives, baby. <laughs> let's see how this woman drives. Not me, me check on neighbor also. Okay, baby. Before I used to be very scared driving a car that is not mine. Like before, I wouldn't even drive my husband's car before. Hmm. You tell me oh, you can use my car. I'm like no, no, no. I was just like very. I don't even know the word to use. I would just if it's not my own car, I cannot drive. I just get scared driving other people's car. But after we had an accident with my own, and I had no other choice. That's not gonna happen to us again. Yes, that's never gonna happen to us again. This is actually smooth. See the steering name, serere whatever. <laughs> okay, guys. Now we are heading to Ross. Yeah, I think we should go to Ross first. At we can go to Fusco anytime at all. But right now, let's go to Ross. Whew. Okay, people, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Let's do this, baby. Let's do wow, this, baby. this car drives really, really smoothly. Mm -hmm. I like and do you know when I learned how to drive? I could not drive with my shoes on because in Nigeria they taught me how to drive. They would always tell us, remove your slippers, remove your shoe. And I got so scared because I feel like if I start driving and I can't feel if I can't feel the brake, I, I, I feel like I'll just have an accident because I, they trained me to drive without my shoes on. But every day I'm learning and now I can comfortably drive with my shoes on no matter what shoe or slippers I'm putting on. Oh, no, what does matter mean? no matter means no matter. No, it's going very smoothly, like it's very smooth. It's a clean new car. It's a rental car, so it's always clean and new. <laughs> it's always clean and new. <laughs> I saw something on Facebook yesterday. Somebody wrote, "If you're learning how to drive." In Nigeria, you learn how to drive with one hand because the other hand is for telling conductors waka. <laughs> and honestly, I learned how to drive car in Nigeria. I used the driving school in Nigeria. Ne, I chikatara waka, eh? Waka chiwai. Oh my god. These people can frustrate the living daylight out of you. Come on, bupurum troka nozo. Bupurum nasesa nozo. Oh my god, that was crazy. So you always had to, you had, we had to learn to be mean. As well, more worry. I got worse. Sorry. Huh? Some more. Some more. Yeah, as in now that you had to be mean, only when you're learning how to drive, you learn. <coughs> they just train you to be mean because other people who are driving are also mean as well. When yeah, someone mean drives, well. they get mean. Yes, because in Nigeria there's always traffic and then you have a lot of people shouting and screaming Get out of the way! Get your filthy car out of the way! And you're like, would you shut your mouth? But you don't even want to do that, okay? That's mean. Yeah, that's called being mean. That's called being mean, baby. You do not want to be mean, baby. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Who is your baby? Come on, me check on us. So. <laughs> this game is so We are here. If we did not put this car seat now, nah, you will hear that police jidra knows. Why don't your daughter have a car seat on? But now that we used car seat, there was no police, no single police on the way. So here is the list I was talking about. And let's go and get shopping. So guys, that over there, that over there is the bed center where I had the baby. Oh, I can't zoom any further. It's just in front of us. So I see the fine car my husband went to go and rent. <laughs> let's go. 
come on see my stomach is gradually entering inside this is the 10th day and the thing is beginning to up that ball and i said i'm no longer fat also i want to see if i can buy like a guido or a workout belt that i can use to tie my stomach because next weekend i'll be like 20 days after the baby is born i want to start going to the gym we have a gym in our in our apartment and that was why we wanted to stay in our apartment so that after having the baby I can easily hit the gym and you can go there any time of the day but at night when we take it easy now when you miss the apple what what is it good thing that that could not work when we got to us yeah the car won't break down anything yeah this car is new and this new car will never work never ever People know that Emma picked out her outfit and dressed herself from head to toe. What happened? Why she lost? She's not lost. I don't think she's lost. She's not lost. That's, that's her mom over there. That's her family over there. She's not lost. She's not lost. She's just playing. Come on. This way. Hi. Be careful. I'm looking for. But what is Mario Lopez doing? <laughs> oh my God! This people are very funny. There was one I saw my sister wearing. That's the type I'm looking for. I'm not looking for fine boy's face. I beg. What is Mario Lopez doing in all of these things? Eh? Mario, what's up? Now, I know say you're fine, but this is not what we are looking for, okay, honey? I guess I'll have to order it on Amazon. Shop for more money. Let's go. Let's not go this way because someone's walking up. Okay, see this clothes that I found? It will be big on her and she can use a long paint to wear it. Then I'm also thinking something like this. It's this one comes with a cap. I think I'll get both of them. But let me keep searching. This one is how much. Well, how come price tag on Let me look for this one's price tag. Oh yeah, this is six and this is nine. I'll go with the six. It's very soon I will go into them as well. So So guys, I don't know if you can hear me from there, but see the clothes I got? This music is too loud. Hey, that's it. I got this clothes. I got like big big clothes because when you're old your clothes you've shrunk right and your clothes like basically are too big on you so that's the idea okay so I got this and <laughs> I got this so I got like big sizes and short ones so she will use like long pants to wear them with koi koi shoe okay <laughs> and then I got this one but you also want to buy something that at the end of the day she will grow into it and be able to wear it okay emma come here let me show you the then i got this top i don't know i don't think i'll be going with this top but between these three gowns that i found i'm going to call my husband and have him choose one or he might tell me to bring all of them home and then she will test it at home. We'll choose at home and then the other ones will return it later. But yeah, I think this actually gives me what I'm looking for. Mm, this one is better. At least if, you, if she uses her socks to wear it now i don't know if people can see it. let me see so this is what it looks like emma you can put that in 
so if she uses um the long pants it's going to be like a socks pant if she uses it to wear this it will fit her and then she will grow into it they only have one and two and two was too big and that's one so i found a smaller size but then the problem now with smaller size or that i'm not carried again it took a Oh, cause you leave. Come up to your Too small, right? Oh, it's, not, it's not too small. It fits perfectly. Look at that. Go back. Let me see. Oh my god, it's so cute. Turn around. Turn your back. And it still has space. Turn. Turn. No, the other way. I don't want to see your nyash. Try this one, mommy. Mm -hmm. so they say she can either wear a Wig? What? This is a wig. But she has her hair made so she cannot wear a wig. Why don't they have to wear a wig, mommy? Because you already made your hair. I'm not going to come and give you my wig. I know my wig is more expensive. <laughs> but I am not giving it out. I think she'll just carry one of my hand cards. Bring the card, baby. Where are you going to? Okay, be careful. <laughs> See your nyash. Sorry. You don't sell to speak here. We'll get it at food school. Yes, mommy, I did. Come here. Mommy, look at the Valentine's Day show. If you do not know where we live, I will remind you that this is what they are. Yeah, I need to get your daddy something for Valentine's, right? Mm -hmm. Are we going to buy this now? No. I'm not getting my husband a chocolate. So guys, we just finished shopping at Royce. And we are heading to Fusco right now, and it's already dark and it's very cold outside. Very cold. Hi, come on. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. It's freezing cold, baby. Freezing cold. Get out of this cold. Yes. You have to get out of this outside. But you're gonna crush and she let's go. <laughs> but that's one I love about this camera. Like even in the dark, you can still see your face. Serious over there. I mean, in the dark, can the camera see your face? Yeah. Hi Dio, how are you? <laughs> Say hi. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning guys, how are you people doing this morning? Oh my god. Yesterday was crazy. Okay, yesterday after we left Ross, we went to food school, but it was so dark, so I couldn't vlog. And coupled with it, it was late, we were hurrying up. But yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff over there. I bought a lot of vegetables. And yeah, I came back. I was going to show you people everything I bought, but then it was late and we we're hurrying up so that Emma can go to bed and because of school. Then I also said this morning I will show you people the, because we tested out the clothes and the whole thing was looking good. Like we chose one clothes for her to wear for the hundred day of school stuff and I was I told my husband, please when you wake up this morning, please wake me up so that I would be the one to dress her up because I, I also wanted to show you people how I dressed her and all that, everything I bought. Like my dear, I woke up after eight. I don't even know when my husband woke up, gave Emma a bath, dressed her up and took her to school. And you wouldn't blame me. For the past one week now he has been the one dressing her or beating her and all that because this baby keeps me awake at night and then it's towards the morning time I have to sleep. I don't even know why I'm awake now, like I still feel very sleepy. But yeah, I woke up to feed her though. And I checked my weight. <laughs> I checked my weight and congratulations, yay! I've lost 
10 pounds so far apart from the baby weight so i was 226 when i on on my due date before i had the baby i was 226 sorry baby and after i had the baby i was 216 right now i'm 206 good i've not been eating like a lot like some days i just eat once i just eat like a, a big meal a day because i just get too busy that i forget i have to eat that's the thing i get too busy but then the days that i eat up to three times a day or two, four times a day i just eat like good food not like binge eating white rice like i've been doing so far this is what my stomach looks at, like 11 days after I showed you people what it looked like when I was at the hospital, right? It's coming down like a whole lot. Like January last year, this time last year I was like very overweight. That is why it's as if I'm so obsessed about losing weight because I was so overweight this time last year that it actually it affected me like and that was why I went on to lose a lot of weight. Like I lost in three months and before months I lost half of my body weight. And I was so happy. I felt so beautiful. I felt so confident as a, with myself. Come and see, I was feeling like a queen. Are you okay, baby? Sorry, sorry. Come here. Mm. I was feeling like a queen with my big afro. Everything just blended. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get that confidence back. I want to get that beauty back. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's not just about the, my body. It's about the way I feel on the inside. Yes, I know some people will be like, oh my God, it's too early. My dear, everybody's body is not the same, okay? And to me, I don't think it's too early because if I feel comfortable sitting down and not doing anything, I'm like, oh, I just had a baby. I will get to it when I get to it. My dear, I know myself. I would not get to it. It will never happen. That was what happened to me with the yours own. I was literally like, hey, I'll get to it. I just had a baby. Come on now. It never happened until a year later. And the thing started depressing me and all that. That was when I learned my lesson. So yeah, we all learn our lesson in either the hard way or the soft way, whatever. But I learned my lesson the hard way last year and I was like, it will never happen to me again. So yeah, this is what my stomach looks like 11 days after I had the baby, okay? This is exactly what my stomach looked like last year, January, when I was overweight. So let me get my sweet sweat stuff. My sweet sweat is what I used to work out. So let me bring it. So this is my sweet sweat. See, it says sweet sweat. So I always tie this around my waist. It helps me sweat a lot in my abdomen area, my stomach area. And when you sweat a lot there, you burn a lot of fat around there. So this is how I always wear to the gym. Although this one, it may be poor, I don't know, I need to get another one. There's one I saw my sister wearing when I went to her house. I sent her a message. She sent me the link and I'll get that one. I like that one better than this one. So this helps you when you're running on the treadmill. Just so you know though, the only thing I do when I go to the gym is treadmill. Only. Anything that will help me burn calories like treadmill and what's the other one? Elliptical, staircase. Those are the only things I do. I don't do weight lifting i don't do any of those things no you have to burn fat first lose weight first before you start toning so my goal is always to lose weight first before toning so i use this and this is the first outfit that i got i got three actually happy two this is the paint this is the paint hi do you say hi Hey, see who is awake. Hi, baby. Hi, princess. How are you? Are you awake? Are you awake? Are you awake? Your mom is wrong before, Paul. Eh? Why are you like that now? Why are you like that now? This girl can eat for Africa, eh? I'll be for America. Eh? I'm not going to be mad at you. Eh? You know, I'll be human being, I'll be. 
say her face. She said her face. She's shy. Mommy, don't be shy. Or you'll be a superstar, okay? Don't be shy. You got mommy in a garret carpet. And I'll be shouting, that's my baby girl. That's my Zendaya. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? <laughs>